show. It is I. <laughs> Sounds so stupid. Um, yeah. How's it going, guys? It is Jay's Wiener. I'm, uh, I've been working on some pieces recently. Throwing away a lot of pieces recently, which I had done for years, actually. I just kind of worked through all of them until I got to the point where I liked them. Giving myself this kind of idea that there were no mistakes, only kind of obstacles in creating, so that I had a reason to kind of keep working through them. But occasionally, there, there are things that you do and you just become unfond of them. And so, you get rid of them. It's normal, it's natural. Everybody has them. Everybody has something they make that they're not particularly fond of. I would, just picked up the Donald Glover EP, uh, Childish Gambino. I, I'm a huge fan. I always have. I think he's, I like, I like his depth, his ability to kind of tell the truth about himself and kind of almost feels personal, maybe for myself sometimes. And then I think like Milo and all these other artists and St. Vincent, Tune Yards, and TV on the radio. It's just, uh, music is a huge inspiration when I paint, so I try to always have music on when I'm creating what I'm creating. I just feel like it, it taps into kind of that uh, electric jungle that is my imagination. I don't know. I don't even know where I'm going with that. Uh, I don't know. I liked it better. There's something strange about, like, with music where there are a lot of bands that are much better when they're not on labels. Like, obviously, they need to be on labels. But they... They go that route when they start creating stuff for other... for other entities as opposed to just, I gotta get this out of my head make it. I'm kind of running into that kind of instance right now where I'm making things and I'm liking what I'm making, but I'm not, I'm not completely every moment making them for me. Sometimes I'm making them because I know people will like them. Uh, it's strange to fall into that because I, I wasn't doing that for a while. For a couple of years I wasn't doing that. And then I kind of adopted the Let's not throw anything away for a couple of years and see how that works. Just make stuff every single day. And it's beautiful and it's turned into kind of an amazing project, but I'm tired. <laughs> My body's actually tired. My brain's still making paintings every second, every moment. I'll be driving down the highway to work and my brain is thinking of ways that I can make a color dance and blend across the screen after I've painted it and taken like odd angled photography at it. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's strange. It's strange to see yourself making something when it's strange to see yourself making something when nothing's actually in front of you. You're lost in those moments where everything else just kind of melts away. And then it's just you, your creativity, and the billions of people who keep trying to contact you and talk to you and you're, you're completely blind to them. I see these painters who do this amazing work and I really like their work. I see it on like Facebook and Etsy. Suicide Girls and Google Plus and Tumblr and all these really amazing and interesting places. And I find myself looking at them and going, how are they marketing their work? Because I'm so bad at marketing anything I do. Like, it's, it's great.